True, true results. Uh, man, we got some breaking news out of Philly, man. A body was found in the back of a U-Haul. Uh, dismembered, that man cut up, and that wasn't even all the body pieces. They went back to the house and found some more body, piece, more body parts of one guy that lived at the house. They say they tried to burn his body parts in the garage. So I guess they got spooked and, and took the rest of the parts and put them in a garbage bag, put them in the back of a U-Haul. The story starts yesterday when a neighbor reported that she hasn't seen a neighbor in a minute. Police went out there as usual check the doors or whatever they do when they just walk the perimeter and say, oh, ain't nothing going on here instead of taking it serious. And uh, I guess these folks that killed them, all everything alleged, it's a breaking story, decided to go back and rob his house with a U-Haul. They say he, uh, he was a masseuse. He worked out his house as a masseuse. So you know how dangerous that game they'll go when you, you know, somebody scope out your house and stuff. So I guess, and then he saw exotic pets, animals like lizards and parrots and stuff on the side. But they say he was a good guy. And uh, they say when they pulled over the U-Haul, dude ain't even hesitate. It was two passengers, a driver and somebody on the passenger side. As soon as they put the lights on him, he jumped out and said, I ain't had nothing to do with it. But it's a body in the trunk. It's a body in the back of the U-Haul. And so this is how the story go. Let's check it out. True. Now, a body found in a trash bag in the back of a U-Haul. Sounds like the plot of a mob movie. But Dave, this is all too real, and it happened in Summerton. It is tonight. The driver and passenger of that U-Haul truck remain here at police headquarters being questioned by homicide detectives. Neighbors tell us the victim is a nice man who had a lot of people coming and going from his property. Tonight, investigators are still trying to get to the bottom of this. A lot of shock because this is usually a pretty good area. It started with a call to police about a possible burglary and a U-Haul truck. It ended with a gruesome discovery after police pulled the truck over and the driver got out with a startling admission. He gets out of the vehicle and says he had uh, nothing to do with it. He's just moving the body and there's one in the back. When officers opened the back of the U-Haul, they found the dismembered body of a man stuffed in a black trash bag, along with a knife and other evidence. They quickly called for homicide detectives. Gruesome, a little horrifying, and uh, slightly concerning, especially being in this neighborhood and living here. The bloody discovery startled neighbors in this Summerton community. Police say the 70-year-old murder victim lived just a few blocks away on Sanibel Street. His home is surrounded by surveillance cameras and commercial-style beehives. There were birds and exotic animals inside. He was a really nice guy, and he's going to be missed. The driver of the U-Haul and his passenger were immediately taken to the homicide unit for questioning. Police say they're persons of interest. The truck and dismembered body were taken to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy. That's nuts. I, I, 70 years? You ain't too much older than me. And I hope they figure out what the heck happened because that's not okay. Now, police, again, still trying to come up with a motive in this situation. Neighbors did identify the victim to us, but police have yet to release his name. We'll have much more on this investigation coming up at 6 o'clock. Shana? Oh, man. I mean, damn, this world is going crazy. But, you know, Philadelphia, though, man, I mean, people that, you know, I ain't saying that uh, he was involved in anything, but, you know, Philly known for, you know, the mafia ruled in Philly. And, you know, even though people think the mob has uh, gone away now, that y'all just taught him how to go underground. But uh, I ain't saying that got nothing to do with him. I'm just saying he ran a masseuse operation out of his house. And uh, the neighbors say he had plenty of people coming and going. So ain't no telling what he was. I mean, you know, he was dealing exotic animals and masseuse and uh i'm just tripping off how yesterday the police was on 
site on location yesterday morning when the neighbor called and then what they did when they was out there because if they have there chopping up a body and dismembering a body apparently they probably was in on location and just being quiet so now they go get a u-haul and come back to move a body and a, a dismember body in a trash bag don't make sense to me but this is a breaking story so i'm just i'm just dropping it it's less than an hour ago so we gonna keep an eye to this one and see what comes out in the detail because i know it's, it's a whole lot more going on to this story i just have a hunch true results y'all stay tuned